and you'll you'll see it's view only you can't edit anything you can't do anything like that um you can't make any changes that's how it's supposed to be what you need to do is you need to first go make a copy so you're going to click here and you would type in whatever you want to i've already made a copy um so but that would be the first step that you would need to do to work with this um work with this sheet and, and begin to modify it for yourself um, so now that we've talked about how you would actually get it, once you do that, it would be in your personal Google Drive or the, the Google Drive um, associated with the account that you um, connected to it with. Um, so once you do that, you will be able to hear. So I've called it, um, you can see here, I've called it Erroneous uh, Mythic Season Planner and it's uh, 1.0 at this moment. Um, so the first couple things, you really don't need to change anything in here. However, if you are getting the egg, if you are decide you do not want to get the egg bonus, let me correct that. Um, you will want to just go ahead and delete this line and that should remove any, um, any values for it later on. Uh, to my understanding, I have not done that because I am going to go ahead and use it. Um, my, my plan is to get it. Um, so what this what this sheet does allows us to do is to say, um, first off, the thing we need to change is put in what tier or what um, team league, what league your team is in. That's a better way to say it. What league your team is in. And so when you do that. Um, you see we can choose from a variety you know, from all the different leagues and right now the way that this goes is you would want to kind of give it get an average of where you finish um in your where your team finishes in your league for each event so generally speaking maybe you want to average that out over the 13 weeks um or another thing you might do is just set it at the lowest and then you know okay well maybe we'll do better and we'll get um we'll be able to surpass what what i need or what what it's telling me i need um and in the long run we'll have to spend less the point of this sheet is to help you understand how many chests you will need to purchase both for one the discount period to make sure you get the discount dragon in time and two how many um super sigils chests you'll need to purchase at the end of the season um and those two things are kind of the uh, the that's the information that we're trying to figure out using this sheet so uh one thing that erroneous has told me is that he does plan to actually separate this out so that we could do it week by week uh, i think that that would be a benefit um to this sheet because different people different teams do better in some events and not as well in others um but it's up to you how to handle that right now you could either go with an average or you could go with a minimum either one once you do that the next step is to input um each week input the event that's going to be happening you see since we already know that feed is happening uh he's already input feed for us and then we have a good idea fort you know is is on the rotation so we have a good idea that fort is also happening um next week so those are the two things that um those are the first two events that we have right now what this tells us that is that we will get this is um what i've done for myself and I believe that looking, if we look at the previous, this is based off of previous feeding events, we can see the event prizes for um, for feeding. We see that it ends at, actually at 25. So I need to modify it to, um, oop, not 16, to end at 25, just 4 million points and 3500 sigils and then we see fort fort ends at level 28 
which is is what we have set here and that would get me five thousand five hundred sigils plus some um, and it also tells me how many gold chests I'll be getting from that event um, from each event so we see here that I would be able to get let's see I, if I'm doing half the egg token bonus plus the discount because the goal is to first finish the discount before it ends right before those prizes go back to full price um, we can see that I will be 9,600 sigils short um, of my target. And so we'll kind of have an idea of a, a different way to of how we'll approach that or how we'll calculate making that up. Um, but that is the missing amount um, at this moment. Then as we come into the next weeks, you would want to, you know, I, I think what um, Erroneous did is he kind of made a guess at what events would be what, which ones we would have um, based off of past schedules. And we don't currently have any information. Th right now, this sheet doesn't have any information for the Temple Raid event. So that isn't here yet. Um, those are, That's another thing that he has talked to me about wanting to add. But overall, this allows us to calculate um, one, if if you have past data of how you did in these events, it will allow you to calculate that. Also, as you as we go through events, as we pass them, you will be able to update this sheet and see how that is affecting the numbers, whether you are on pace or falling, beginning to fall short of your current um, sigil amount needed for the needed for the end. <laughs> Uh, hey, Pat, PW and hey, choices. Are you really aiming to do 4 million points in feeding? Yes, I am. Um, I have easily over, wow. Um, I have easily over 20 million XP, 30 million XP, easily over 40 million XP sitting on dragons right now that are just waiting to be fed. So this is something I have been planning for pretty much since the middle of last season, as far as feeding event goes. And um, that is that is a goal that I th I do think I can actually hit. Um, we will see if if I don't do as well, I can always adjust it down. Um, and if I don't do as well as I think I can do, I can always adjust it down. And that will help me calculate as we go through the season again, just like just like with the other weeks. That will help me calculate what um, what I will need to do to make up. Now, the other really cool thing about this sheet that um, that erroneous added is a chest calculator, essentially. And so, this is where we go to this second tab, and all you need to do is fill out the yellow um, boxes and it gives you probabilities um, it's not perfect but it gives you um, based off of i believe information he's collected possibly information that is out there um, it gives you the probabilities of what you will get depending on the event from opening those that amount of gold chests for example um, i currently have 143 uh, gold chest right now that I have saved up. I plan on opening opening them during this upcoming feed event. And so what I can do is I can look at this feed event and see that I, from opening 143 gold chests, I could reasonably, within reason, expect to get about 3,000 get about 3,000 sigils. Um, and I can do the same with, with uh, bronze. I have about mm, 22 right now. So let's see, let's bring that down to about what I have. Um, I think I have like, let's say 2250. I don't remember my exact number, but let's let's put it there. So we see the uh, updates that opening during the feeding event roughly estimates that I get um, 
about 3,300 uh, sigils. And you can also see the other things that you'll get through this event as well. Can I share this Google Sheet? Yes, I'm going to share it. In, it it's in actually a lot of different line chats right now. Um, I'm gonna share it in, in Pepperoni's line chat. Um, and if you don't, if you're not in there and you don't want to be in there and you just would prefer to um, find, to you know, to get it directly from me or something like that, um, I will just feel free to PM me. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Rather than um, posting here, it would just be, you're not in Pep's line. Um, so just, just PM me directly. I'm kicking back online. Um, that's probably the easiest way and I'll, I'll make sure to get you this, the link. Um, the one other thing to, to note and the one other kind of main point to this, to this sheet is this, the super sigil calculator here at the bottom. Um, so say we needed, so based off of, the, uh, off of what we, the information that we have right now, um, I would have, I'd be about 9,600 sigil short. Um, then I add into that the, what I would, what I would expect to pull from the chest, right? So, um, 29, so let's just say 3K plus another 3K. So that would say I'm about, um, let's say 3,500 sigil short. So let's, uh, you know, just to approximate. So if I put in 3,500, it's going to tell me the, so this is for super sigil, but it would tell me how many super sigils I would need to open and the cost of the gems um, I would need to open those. Now, if I needed to do gold box, like if I needed to do gold chest, which I'm going to need to do for the discount, I might do that in a different way, right? Um, so instead of doing it with super sigils, we're gonna we would do that up here. Um, so let's say, I'm like, okay, well, I don't have that's not going to be enough. So I mean, from the math, I can tell that if I did 300 gold chests, I'm going to hit the discount uh, pretty easily at that point. Uh, discount plus the first half of the egg token. Um, so I hope that kind of explains exactly what, um, how to use this sheet and how to kind of begin planning for uh, both for, for this very next event, as well as how to begin possibly thinking through what your, the rest of the season is gonna look like and where you're gonna get your sigils from. Um, as always, I mentioned, you can, by, by doing better in different events, you're going to increase your chances to, um, to hit those goals by your team doing better. Um, one thing to note is that this is, so this team chest here is for, um, this team chest is for actually for team quests. And if you notice, the 10th tier of Team Quest gets you 300 sigils. Um, something I didn't know, and so the team, this is Team Chess, this is the, your final rank uh, Team Achieve. What was this one? I think this is the final, oh, oh this is, this is the Team uh, Points that you get right so like the team make uh, team contributions uh, so the bonus that your team gets um sigil wise now if they they have said that they're going to be scaling the sigils slightly differently in this upcoming season if so things on this list on this chart will change it's important to make sure to check back uh often to confirm that you have the most updated version of this sheet so the, the data that this sheet is pulling from for you is um, the most up-to-date data. However, this is the most up-to-date data as of today, um, aside from the temple raid event. So you can always come back here to this user guide and check to make sure that you have the most current version by you know, going to that link. Um, and it's going to take you back to the 
to the sheet uh, link and you can copy it again. So feel free to um, ping me online with any questions if you have any. I'm going to also be uploading this video to YouTube. So for example, Pep, you said you're missing a bunch of this. Uh, my plan is to have this uploaded to YouTube tomorrow. Um, and hopefully it gives everyone a good idea of how they can begin preparing. Um, like I said, and I'm happy to answer any questions if you happen to have any. Um, I think it's, I think that's it as far as this, uh, information specifically goes. Otherwise, um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great, a great event. Um, and that you are able to get, <laughs> and you're able to get the mythic. Um, and hopefully this sheet comes in handy. I, I, it's already just the chess calculator alone, I think is so beneficial. Um, it just really helps to know kind of what you should generally expect from that. So.